At the very beginning of the blemish baby picture, you want to choose the lasso tool and you want to select out the baby. Now we're going to do things a little bit differently after you're done the selection, but go ahead now and choose the lasso tool. GIMP only has one lasso tool. Photoshop has three as of uh, 2013. You can try this with the magnetic lasso tool, which is the most common one to use. You can also try this with the regular select lasso, but I would suggest if you're using Photoshop elements to try the polygon lasso. It's the most like what you're seeing, although the nice thing about the GIMP is I can go back and fix these dots afterwards and it's quite forgiving about that. I'm going to speed up the video now and we'll catch up to you in a second. Now when you're getting back to the end, before you click on the last one, just double check that you've got all your points in the right places. For instance here, I might decide, you know, I'm not really convinced that I've got the baby selected properly here, so I'm just going to fiddle around with my dots. The GIMP will allow me to do this. Um, there's other Photoshop or, or other programs may not, so I'm just going to make sure that all my points are correct before I carry on. If there's anywhere that I want to edit, I better do it now, because once I select back to my original dot, then this is no longer editable. So I'm going to confirm. Yeah, everything looks good. Everything looks good. And now I'm going to click back on my original dot. And you can see now this is my selection area. With my selection area now, I'm going to do something a little bit unusual. And that is first I'm going to create a new layer. Here's the new layer button. But I can also go to layer and say new layer. And I'm going to call this new layer Skin Tone. And I'm going to misspell that on purpose just to show you that I can come over here and double click and change that name this way as well. And when I hit enter, it saves the name. So now on my Skin Tone layer, I'm going to randomly go ahead and choose a Skin Tone. I already happen to have selected one from before, but if I want to adjust it a little bit, I certainly can, and I can select any of these sliders to adjust the skin tone. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bucket fill inside the baby. And when I do that, you'll see my skin tone layer is now solid pink. My picture is still there. My selection area is still visible. And I'm going to save this, and I'm going to do a save as. And when I save as, I'm going to call this activity... 6a.xcf. Now it puts the .xcf in for me. If you're using Photoshop, obviously it would be a .psd file. It, so you've got your two layers here. And now the most amazing thing about this activity is to learn how layers work. If I still have the skin tone layer selected, you'll notice right now it's selected as a normal layer. And so you would think that in, if I click in the top half of the opacity that I can drag this down there, now it's invisible skin tone. Now it's almost 50% skin tone. And here it's completely overwhelming. Well, you would think that I would want to do that, but the problem with this is that it also overwhelms the black lines and the shadows. And I don't want to do that. Okay? So I'm going to take that up to full again and change the mode of the layer. And so I can choose lighten only. There's a number of different things, but really it's a color layer. So I'm going to set it to a color layer mode. When I do so, I end up with this horribly, horribly wrong picture. But I'm going to make a couple of changes. First, I'm going to go to my bottom layer. And instead of choosing a normal mode, I'm going to choose a multiply mode. When I choose multiply mode, it's going to multiply the value of the bottom layer through each of the color layers above it. And now when I bring this down, you can see as I go that it does, the between the combination of the multiply mode and the color mode, it brings it down and it can make it look quite realistic. Now there, it's totally back to original. And then I can just bring it up and you can see it bringing some color in. So this is step one, 
and it's very straightforward if you can follow those steps in sequence.